All right, I'm Dan Costa here with PC Mag. We're going to see an eSports presentation right now. These guys are playing eSports, but they're actually running and gunning. And uh, I'm not going to be commenting over the entire thing. We're going to let you see some of their gameplay. We're going to see how the machines work. They've already got a commentator. Hopefully you'll be able to pick some of that up. They'll be watching the whole thing last about three minutes. Um, I'll be able to answer your questions afterwards, uh, depending on how noisy it gets in here. So it looks like he's running, but he's actually just sliding on a pad. He's got frictionless sneakers on. You'll be able to see the above their heads what their gameplay looks like. It's basically a uh, first-person shooter where they both like, need to defend their forts. It, they're wearing Oculus Rift headsets, but the, obviously the interesting thing here is that their entire bodies are part of the experience. They've got 360 degrees range of motion. They're slipping and sliding. Of course. Oh, here we go. Let me know if you guys can hear the other announcer, and I'll stop chatting, and I'll let you listen to them. pairs up with the Oculus Rift as well as the HTC Vive and any other uh, headsets that you already see. And it just combines with that and uh, with that looking around capability of the VR headset and it adds that physical motion aspect. It allows you to physically walk around in the virtual world while you're looking around with the headset. They have to reboot Windows to get the other gamer online. So it's really, really neat. It is adds you love demos. To what is already out there, it plays very nicely with the rest of the products in the environment, like the hand controls, like the headsets, and just lets you run around. It lets you be a part of the world rather than just sitting down stationary while you look around, moving around with the controller. Uh, it's, it's just a whole new layer of fun. This guy's actually up and running, so there's a better chance of him going sooner. They should be gaming in the next 10 seconds or so. It, it is extremely expensive, but very cool. And for professional esports, you can imagine this being used in arena environments or moving from city to city. Any moment now, so we can actually kind of show you uh, what we're talking about. Just give you an example of one of the very many uh, capabilities that the Virtuous Omni has. In this setting, we're going to be using a competitive first-person shooter uh, type game where both these players will be playing. And what's kind of a king of the hill type game? where essentially they're finally control a particular area of the map and they gain so many points for every second that they spend inside of that area that I'm talking about. And you'll see it kind of clearly marked off in the arena. It's going to be a highlighted rectangle area. And both those players are just kind of duking it out to control that hill so they can score those points that we're talking about. As uh, we do see Gianni here, our blue player, is already going to be running inside the zone. Meanwhile, Jabril just teleported up behind him, so Gianni not aware of it. He finally does turn around. They're both going to pop their shields, but it's going to be Jabril's shield that runs out first. So that means Gianni is going to be able to win the duel, and so he'll be able to maintain control of the hill and score that 10 points per second. It's a race to 500 points or whoever holds the most after that three-minute timer has expired. As uh, our red player Jabril was really quick to re-challenge Gianni at the hill, but it was Gianni who actually won the duel. And you're going to be able to see uh, just a moment here the arena at the screen behind me. But you can also see the two players' points of view with the TVs above them as well if you want to check that out. As Gianni continues to win these battles, and so therefore he is going to be able to maintain his lead as the new hill is going to spawn in the top center here of the map, and Gianni just going to fight from range and take Jabril out again, so we do see Gianni is just kind of dominating right now, so he's up to 300 points already, Jabril just at 50, so he has a lot of catching up to do, as Edwin, Gianni's already spotted Jabril spawn up top, and they will battle, Shield's going to pop late from Gianni, so that means it's going to last a little bit longer, which means Jabril is going to be at the disadvantage and he will lose the fight, and Gianni it's just kind of running away with this game, it seems, uh, in this first round that we're going to see today. And there you have it. Gianni will take that first round of play. A really, really big win there for him, for sure. Wow. So, I don't know if you can tell. These guys are winded after a three-minute game. They're both breathing heavy, and... Uh, it's probably the most active physical esports activity that I've ever seen. Um, it will be very expensive when this comes out. We do 
But uh, sorry, uh, it will be very expensive, I'm sure. But very cool, the Vertex Omni. We're gonna definitely follow up on this and cover it on PT Mag. Thanks for joining us. You're gonna get more CES 2016 very soon. Thanks, guys.